Hello guys, Zild here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Final Fantasy X 100% walkthrough and let's get started. So in this episode we are going to be unlocking some hidden areas for the airship. Let's first begin by inputting passwords. Okay so this is the first password, Victorious. Put that password in and then confirm. And password number two, deciphered. So here's the next password, Murasame. Put that password in and then once again confirm. Okay this is the last password and it's actually the password to get Riku's Celestial Weapon, the God Hand. And that's what the actual password is called, God Hand. So punch in that password right there, God Hand, and then confirm. And there's all three passwords deciphered. Now if you go to your list, you'll see we have a bunch of new areas. Sin being the main mission that we're not going to be doing for a while. Besaid Ruins 1, Besaid Ruins 2, Mushroom Rock. And that's all we have for new areas. But if we go to search, we can search for some more new areas. So I'm going to show you where the rest of the hidden areas are. Now we have six areas to get. Alright, so there's one new area located the Omega Ruins. Take a look the uh, direction there. Okay, so take a look here. I'll zoom in. There's the Barge Temple. And on the bottom there is the Besaid Falls. And right over here is the Sanubia Sands. Okay guys, so here's the Meehan High Ruins. Take a good look and I'm gonna zoom in now. Okay, so there's the battle site. Take a good look and now I'm gonna I'm going to zoom in. So we have the Barge Temple, the Besaid Ruins, the Meehan Ruins, the Battle Site, that's four, Sanubia Sands, that's five, and Omega Ruins, that's six. That's all six of the secret areas that are not passwords. Okay, so what we're gonna do this episode now is collect some of the items. So let's start with Besaid Ruins number one. And I'm just gonna skip everything just so I can show you guys where to go. So the chest is right here. Victorious. So Victorious is a armor for Riku which will give you lightly improved, fireproof, and iceproof. Now board the airship again. This time we're going to Besaid Ruins number two. This is going to get us the Murasami for Orin. And this will have piercing and 1 MP cost. So let's head to the battle site. And we're going to run all the way up here to grab the Phantom Bagel for Lulu. So Phantom Bagel, it's Ice Eater, Fire Eater, Water Eater. That means every Ice Fighter or Water Spell will heal Lulu. This time we're heading to Besaid Falls. And once you get here, the chest is just right over here. It's the Dragoon Lance, which is a weapon for Kamari. Magic counter and evade counter. All right, so this time we're gonna head to Mian Ruins. Oh, you can see us on the other side there. So the treasure chest is right there. And that's the sonar. I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of see my character there. And then we'll just board, reboard the airship. Sonar is a weapon for Riku, by the way. It has initiative and poison strike. All right, so next up is Sanubia Sands. And the chest is just right over here. Ascalon, that's for Titus. This is double AP for Titus, so we can put that on for now to get us double the AP. Okay guys, so in order to get Riku's uh, God Hand out of the treasure chest, we first has to have to charge the Cloudy Meter and turn it into a Celestial Meter. So we're actually going to be doing that in a different episode because I'm going to make a full guide for it. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.